some of the I need to do here. So I start recording. Please. Thanks. Uh, welcome, everybody. This is the Chaos Value Metrics Group uh, meeting on May 10th, 2019. Let's get started. Uh, I think we've got a. I think we've got a fairly short uh, agenda today. Um, I think we'd like to talk about um, software and um, see if we've got an instance of Augur that we oh. can use. <laughs> and no, uh, we do not. I uh, I focused my Augur attention this week on trying to get our. The new data model finished and moving all the data we have over into it. And um, I have a database instance now that I can move our uh, facade like data into. And so I'm focusing on, I focused on that instead of getting us an instance because then that will make it easier for us to add the value metrics data directly into something that we can create APIs and biz for. So that's where I put my attention. And this has been a been a hard week. It's my not hard, but it's just the last week of our semester, so a lot of things. Okay, uh, so they'll they'll just be on hold. It'll be ready when it's ready. Yeah, I mean I'm optimistic next week because I'll have after after Wednesday I should have my team uh, in full account a contra you know more available. They've been you know with the exams coming up. The undergrad developers are less available than they usually are for good reason. They're students first. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, that was one action item from last week. <clears throat> um, the other action items for last week, there were two others, uh, both were mine. Uh, one was to draft, um, post a, a draft of an interview plan. Uh, for open source program offices, and the other was to draft a proposal, uh, to post a draft of a proposal for Mozilla. Both of those are there. You can see the links. And um, um, so, just as an organizing comment, would you mind if we created issues on the GitHub repository? with a link to these documents. That way we have a more permanent place to link to these documents and work on them than the meeting minutes. I don't mind a bit. And, and by the way, any, any, any suggestion you have sort of for organizational clarity, uh, you know, I, I'm in almost automatically. So that sounds like a great idea. Okay. Hey, I just put a, a link in the chat. Andy, is this the Mozilla call you're aiming at? Well, let's see. Uh, so there's two things. One is a, a, a proposal for um, uh, a grant. Mo Mozilla's got a, a call for... Um, yeah, I just put it in the chat. Is this the one? I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Uh, let's see. Uh, Let's I can put it in the document too. Oh, I'm I'm trying to get get this link here. Okay. Yes, yes, this is the one. Yeah, the guy is um, is a uh, Joe Fish over there at uh, Mozilla. Yep. Um, okay. Um, He's come out, I think, every six months or so. Just FYI. Yeah. And, and by the way, uh, the things that he is looking for on his um, and his call for grants, you know, don't have anything to do with open source value. But I just think, what the heck, you know, I I, I do believe that um, that we could make a case that that <clears throat> a better under, understanding of open source value will help Mozilla and the Mozilla mission. And I think Joe Fish will get that. So let's just write it and send it in and. You know, maybe it'll resonate, and if not, I think just getting practice writing grant proposals is good. Okay, you know, totally. That's totally fair. Clarify our thinking, that sort of thing. 
So uh, the draft is there. It's very simple. You know, when it goes, it'll be um, like a one pager. Nothing too great. What I thought I would ask for is is just money to support travel for conferences and and talks. Uh, I'd ask for like ten grand. And before it gets sent, I'll I'll definitely um, ask every for everybody's review and approval before it goes. Okay, <clears throat> and then the other thing is this open source program office uh, interview plan. So maybe I can walk through sort of the thinking I have about this. Once we get a, a version of Augur working with um, where we're ingesting stats from projects that are you know attached to open source program offices, I'd like to go out and talk to these people. And before talking, um, just do a little, you know, just a really rough study to try and understand and, and characterize a little bit better what is this open source program office segment? Like how many are there? What types of companies are they attached to? You know, how many, um, how many uh, projects are they sponsoring? How many people are involved? Just, just make some rough guesses. And then um, I'd like to go out and talk with um, some representative number. And how many, a little hard to say, maybe half a dozen, maybe a dozen. And, um, and you know, just take them through a survey to understand why are they doing what they're doing? How, how are they making a business justification for establishing this office? How are they making a business justification for the spend that they're doing? Um, I'd like to show them Augur and see how they react to it. And I'd like to get their feedback, uh, especially um, to try and build a vision for parameterized uh, metrics. And I think this parameterized thing is, is really uh, the core of the value metrics. Uh, being able to translate a pull request or um, or you know a closed issue, you know into um, a dollar value. Uh, to me, this is super interesting, and and it's a it would to to generate metrics like that would re require a combination of public metrics and you know the private uh, the private metrics that they track, and so that would be you know, uh, either shared in an anonymized survey or maybe something that they just use internally through a web page by plugging in their own values into a parameterized uh, screen. That's what, that's what I have in mind. And I'd like to, you know, put together kind of a, a, a methodology for doing these sorts of things. Um, this is something that I've done quite a lot in other domains and um, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice way to just understand how people are thinking about these things. And yep. So do you have um, a couple of like next steps that you're seeing here? Is it like the generation of the segment analysis or is it the generation of the contact list? Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Like everything on here is the next step. And um, so uh, this is something that I'm going to start working on this week. And of course, you know, would love um, uh, collaborators for anybody, anybody who's interested. Yep. So, Vinod, are you on right now? Yes. Or you know how you're doing this kind of some of this work this summer around yes. the financial incentives. I'm working on those things right now. Like yes. I, I'm deeply in the literature review on working on the business models and like framing my questioner right now. So I'm thinking um, maybe it's a questionnaire though. It's not an interview. No. Yeah. Well, so it's a little different, but that's okay. Well, very, and by the way, very similar. And um, you know, this is a, this is going to be a little bit of a discovery process. We may, we may learn that questionnaires are just more efficient. Uh, and um, so my, 
my questionnaire is based on purely on the literature review so like i am not just haphazardly developing a question i have a some model i have some backing on each question like uh, why this question i am developing in the question like adding it in the questionnaire based on certain research we not do you currently have questions that it, that can inform value metrics that could help us write better value metrics mm, i've never thought of in that direction maybe i can add that aspect i'm not sure right now. i have a question that you can take a peek i can share why don't you um before you share it here maybe yeah. kind of get it in a condensed form that could be shared okay everybody and then yes. that's something we can talk about next week yes maybe you can share it ahead of the meeting next week yes and then probably include in that your rationale for how you develop these questions right maybe just a paragraph at the top right so i guess um to the point then andy is kind of the interview the interview stuff like interview the survey script we'll just kind of consider that the questionnaire slash interview survey script you can it's not terribly difficult to move between the two if you need to and so maybe like here at uno we can take on some of those later bullet points and you could take on that segment analysis component, is what i'm thinking so we're not double doubling up on the same items. if that works for you for me that'd be totally awesome okay And, and by the way, the other person that um, I, I'm going to reach out to next week is uh, Johan. And um, he, he wrote a nice paper. You know, he's done a, uh, <clears throat> uh, an industry survey uh, related to, you know, the, the PhD work that, that he is doing. And um, I think he might have some good feedback for us as well. We'll, we'll see what he has to say. Okay. okay. So anyway, there's there's my draft. So this works. I think it's it's good just because it gives a couple of very direct things to aim at. Yep. Yep. And 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 so by the way, my my objective is to have this done, uh, and to have you know the report data. Uh, assembled, you know, before our meeting in August. Sure. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll learn something interesting by going out and talking with these people. Well, yeah, and then perhaps you could present the stuff at ChaosCon. Are you going to yes. go to Open Source Summit North America? You are. Yeah. Well, yeah. We so we. I, I'd love. I'd love to present this at ChaosCon, and and also um, we did put in a proposal. Uh, for a session at Open Source North America. So, oh, okay. so if it gets accepted, it could. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So one or the other or both. We'll, we'll just see how it shakes out. Okay. And uh, call for presentations at ChaosCon is still in the making. So we haven't actually launched the call yet. Mm -hmm. We know what is your current timeline for the survey? Uh, I'll post the contents by Monday. Monday evening, yeah. And then what about the next steps? Do you have a timeline there? So right now, uh, uh, my timeline is to, uh, once I get the feedback, I'll update it, and then I have to submit it to IRB for the formal approval. So maybe by 20th, I have to 
submitted to IRB. Okay. Yeah. So Vinod has a, a one deadline that requires that he gets this questionnaire done for the internal review board here at the university to make sure that the questions are ethically okay. So there's a forcing function for him to get those done. Sounds like by the 20th of May. Yes. So. Yes, I have to like, I have to get the IRB by 25th or 26th at any cost. So I'm focusing on getting it done by 20th and then following up with IRB. Hopefully IRB mm -hmm. will not take much. Okay, sounds good. And then you're planning to send it out in June, maybe? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. But Perfect. Before sending, I need a like a pilot test or something. Okay. It's good to see that moving forward. Yep. So that's all I have personally. Oh, uh, I'm good too. I'm good. All right, short meeting, but a couple of pointed items to do. So sounds good. And I have my to do from last time, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep Thanks. on talking. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Bye. Have a great weekend. Bye.